And so, another day of exploring the dungeons comes to an end. Uh, yes, welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video, and um, this is another in my D&D &D kind of videos. Uh, the reason is, I just did that um, For Honor playthrough testing thing, and it made me think of uh, swords and sorcery and Dungeons and Dragons, which I haven't talked about for a little bit. Um, and what we're doing here is something that's related to my video from almost two years ago now, or maybe it's over that, uh, where I was trying out uh, Dungeons and Dragons Iron Rations, and much like before, I've got my grog standing by, and uh, my plate as well. But, um, this time around, what we're gonna do is something that is, um, well, I've, I've had some, some people commented on my Iron Rations video, and it gave me some ideas of how to also maybe try out Iron Rations. It looks like there's some difference of opinion as to how that might have actually been, uh, or at least the origin of it that was used in the game. So, I want to try out a couple of different Iron Rations things. But, before I do, I wanted to talk about uh, what's in this bag here, which, as per the title, you can tell is it's all about salted fish. Now, why am I specifically talking about salted fish? Um, it's, it, there's a couple of good reasons. Uh, basically, when my dungeon master used to talk about iron rations, every once in a while the joke would come out of, oh yeah, I guess it's another night of salted fish. And I always thought to myself, okay, that's what we're having. I guess some kind of fish beef jerky kind of a thing. I, I really didn't have a, a clear notion in my head as to what he was referring to when he said salted fish. When I was reviewing or, or researching the Iron Rations video that I did post a couple of years ago, I looked up what is salted fish because I was going to do that as part of that video and then I discovered it's not this uh, jerky sort of dried thing that I, I had originally anticipated. Salted fish, as it's mostly sold in stores here, and historically what was used in uh, quite a lot of travelers uh, for over the centuries, was fish dried and uh, uh, preserved with salt in some kind of carrying knapsack or barrel or whatever. But what a traveler would do with that stuff is not just eat it like it's uh, beef jerky. He would actually take it and dump it in water for like overnight or maybe put it in a stream or something so that all of the salt would flush out of the meat and then he would eat that fish. So that was a completely different creature from what I had visioned in my head when I thought of salted fish in the old Dungeons & Dragons campaign. In addition, that also made the salted fish concept for me, it, it threw me off because I was thinking, all right, if somebody is carrying around salted fish and taking it into the dungeon with them, they're assuming they've got a water source that they can dump an entire fish into, like a bucket of the stuff. Uh, we would carry, you know, maybe some uh, skins full or flasks or grog uh, full of water. But that's certainly, I mean, if, assume this is water and not, uh, this is actually Guinness that's in here. Um, assume that's just full of water. You're not going to find enough water in that. And that's a good couple of days carrying, uh, a good couple of days worth of water for you to, to uh, carry on your person. You're not going to use up all of that just to turn a fish into something less salty and actually edible. So the salted fish idea kind of, it didn't make the cut of the first Iron Rations video, and it kind of lingered for a long time. However, I have since got my hands on something like salted fish, that it's the version that was in my head, this sort of uh, salted fish beef jerky stuff. So uh, let me show you what we've got in the bag here. Now, um, I went into a couple of fish stores, and the first place that I went to, I said, hey, have you got anything that's like salted uh, fish jerky? And they said, um, well, yeah, and they showed it to me, but it was kind of, it was salmon and it was sweetened with um, honey or maple or something like that. And it was, it was all right, but it wasn't the, the beef jerky salted fish idea that I thought it was. And then we uh, happened to go into this Ukrainian uh, food store, and in there they had this. I don't really know what that says. Uh, luckily, they've got it written on the back here. This is Salty Dried Yellow Stripe Scad. Um, and some of, the, uh, uh, some of the shelves that showed this stuff off also described it as 
Scrafes or Strafe? Strafe? Strafes? I don't know. It, it looked like something that I didn't really understand. But when I looked in the packaging, I thought, oh, wait a minute. That's pieces of dried fish. The kind of beef jerky concept that I had in mind. So I thought, right, I'm going to get that. And I've got two other types in here as well. So what I wanted to do is just make a dedicated video about, all right, if, if the assumption of the beef jerky uh, fish dried idea was uh, it, what was in my head from my dungeon master, if that's actually correct, what's it like to, to have some salted fish of that variety? So let's start off with uh, a, good host, a good healthy dose of grog here. And let's get tucked in to the first of my salted fishes. This um, scad. Ooh. All right, so let's open her up. Now I checked the packaging on all these guys. They do seem to last quite a long time. Hang on. Fetch the dagger here. There we go. Okay, so this is dried scad. Hmm. All right. What would that be? Let's have a sniff. Yeah, smells like just any old kind of a fish. Um, might be good. All right, well, let's uh, let's give some scad a try. Cheers. Oh my God. Yeah. All right, all right. This is a good chunk taken off. Um, wow. It's extremely chewy. Um, not bad. Has almost a um, sardine kind of a quality to it. It's a salty fish. Um, yeah, I guess it's okay. Another bite here. Oh, yeah. It's hard to turn it off. Yeah, hard to... Wah. It's really hard to rip out. It's almost like leather. Yeah. Um... Well, it's actually, you know what, except for the fact you really got to chew on it hard. Well, it's not bad, the old scad. Mm hmm. I think. Now, I don't know how um, nourishing that is or how filling that's going to be. I mean, there's all the there's all of it in the package there. There's probably about half a, half a dozen of them sitting inside there. Um, they're okay. Uh, you know, maybe with some crackers and cheese or the other stuff that you saw in the Iron Rations video. That might work, but, uh, hmm, I don't know. It's, um, it's a very concentrated fishy flavor. Uh, the scad, if that's what that's called, um, that's not bad. I, I, I guess I could live with that. Let's get a grog down us. Uh, there we go. Cleanse the palate. Okay, so let's try the next one. Next we have, in the salmon variety, this is Keta Salmon Jerky O Salmon Keta. This is black peppered. Um, there's a, a place near where I live called Steveston, which is a uh, fishing a community and it's also it's got a cannery a, a, a number of canneries this stuff is actually made there so this is locally hence the maple leaf this is uh, locally made by Sioux Jerky and um, I researched them and I thought okay who else makes salmon or fish that is in a dried variety that's not the maple sweetened honey stuff they do tend to make the sweetened stuff but then I saw this which is black peppered and I thought okay this is going to be a little more of the beef or the, the salmon jerky of the variety that I'm thinking of when I think of salted fish. So let's let's give one of these a try. And yeah, shout out to uh, Sue Jerky. Wow. Oh, these are, holy shoot, there's quite a few pieces here. It's very thin, though. All right, well, let's put these guys away. Um, yeah, this is super thin. This is almost like... Uh, I don't even know. This looks like... Well... I don't really know how I would describe that, except for very, very, very thin. Probably thinner than that scad was. But, let's try it out. Mm. 
Alright. Here is a strip of Sioux jerky salmon that is black peppered. Yeah, look at that. It's super thin. It's almost like a sheet of bacon. Yeah, it's like a really big piece of bacon. How does it taste? I'm assuming like salmon if it was a bacon, I guess. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's way better. Mm -hmm. The scab stuff there, really, really chewy. Hard to get your first bite off. This stuff goes way smoother. And it's not sweetened. I mean, it has a very slight sweet taste to it, but this is a lot more taste, a lot more flavorful, a lot nicer. Um, yeah, I can almost see that in like a sandwich or something. Yeah. That is the salted fish that I had always thought of in D&D. &D. And, and I could see myself living on that. I mean, these are very thin wedges. I guess if you had um, quite a few strips of that in your uh, leather backpack carrying around in the dungeon and stuff, that would work. That's actually, I'm really surprised how good that is. The scad is okay. It's, um, it's, it's what I expected when I thought of dried fish. Like I thought, oh, that's going to be very, very rough. But this is very pleasant. I mean, this, this appeals to the modern palate quite nicely. Let's have another bite. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's good. I like that. That's a success. Yeah, it's very, very tasty, and I'm very, very pleased. So thumbs up to Sue Jerky for their um, their salmon slices. I have another grog to wash that down. All right. So, and finally, I thought to round it out, what is another item that could be considered a, a piece of salted fish? So what else can we throw onto the, uh, the menu here uh, down in the dungeon? And I found... The local Asian store. Seasoned anchovy with sesame. And they're tiny little fish. Can you make them out in there? They're little anchovies with sesames all over them. Oh, uh, by the way, I checked the best before date on all this stuff. These things are good for years. Now, maybe that's due to the uh, advanced plastic packaging that we have in the modern era. But I would say it's probably also due to the fact that dried fish is going to last quite a long time. So, let's uh, try this stuff. This is good till 2019, this stuff. And, well, okay, there's your uh, there's part of your special preservation. All right. So, that's that. Now, you can make these guys out here. These are little anchovies, little tiny fish. Almost look like crickets. I don't want to think too much about that. <clears throat> All right, let's have a little sniff of the bottle here. You know, I was expecting it to be quite overwhelming. It, it actually doesn't have much of a smell at all. Uh, now, before I have my anchovy that's been covered with uh, sesame, I did mention a couple years ago, sesame seeds and I do not really agree with each other. I mean, I've got a nut allergy, which is different, and I'm experimenting with that. I'm actually finding as I'm getting older, a lot of the nuts that used to set me off are a lot better now. But um, sesame seeds, because there's, a, ses there's a, a, a snack or a little candy bar thing out there called sesame snaps, and as a kid, that stuff used to really uh, kick in my reaction as if I had had nuts. When I did my video before, I found it wasn't so bad. I'm hoping my reaction to uh, anchovies that are covered with sesame will also be not too bad. Wish me luck. Here we go. Bottoms up. Oh, wow. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. That's like a... It's almost like... You know what? It is sweetened. I was thinking I'd avoided the sweetened stuff. But this is like a slightly... Like honey and uh, sesame. Mmm. Yeah, that's really good. Now, I don't think, if you're down in the dungeon, I don't think a couple of uh, anchovies that have been... Yeah, let's put this into the light here. I don't think a couple of anchovies that have been covered in sesame oil or sesame seeds is really going to sustain you. I mean, this is hardly a very big meal, but again, this is probably your portable protein 
um, as you're traveling around. And although the SCAD is, is definitely the, the one closest to what I'm sure original salted fish as per my memory or my imagination playing the game, although that's probably the closest match, um, it's quite doable. This stuff would be easily uh, quite, quite tasty and, and I could take that on a, a trip down into the dungeon and, you know, I'd, I'd have no trouble at all. Um, the anchovies are sweeter than I would have liked. They're a little bit more like the, um, the salmon jerky that I was asking about in some stores where they sell it, but it's all sweetened and, and it's kind of given a, almost a candy-like, um, approach. And these are like little candied treats. So these things... When I imagine salted fish going into the dungeon, I don't imagine it's these things at all. I think it's more like this guy, or definitely that guy, the scad. But, uh, just to round it out, I thought this would make a nice trio of different types of salted fish. Uh, I was hoping to avoid sweetened ones, but I got it with these anchovies, however, that's alright. So yeah, there we go, salted fish. Let's put another scad out there, just to, uh, make the plate a little more full. There you go, there's salted fish, um... It's actually, it's been a lot harder to make this video or to, to find all these pieces than uh, I had anticipated. I thought, oh yeah, I'll just go into any fish store, boom, 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 and you're done. This has taken a long time to gather up these pieces because almost all fish that you can get in a beef jerky variety is like the Sioux jerky here, but sweetened kind of like the anchovies here. Um, this is actually a very uncommon kind of a plate or dish to have. And yet, in Dungeons & Dragons, I figured, oh, this is what we're having all the time. Slices of fish that have been dried up with their saltiness, and uh, you take them, with them, take them with you into the dungeon. Hence, when I saw all these recipes about salted fish being an entire cod or whatever that was so salty you had to leave it in a bucket overnight, I thought, that's not, that's not going to be very good for travel. That's just not going to work. Um, I am intending to try that though. I am going to get proper salted fish that you leave in a pot of water overnight and then I'm going to cook that up and see what that's like. Although it doesn't match in my imagination what I thought iron rations or traveling rations would have consisted of. When, when my dungeon master used to make the joke about, oh, you're, you're having some more salted fish, I thought of these on this plate. I did not think of the thing you have to leave in the bucket overnight. But to round out the entire experience, I am going to actually try putting the stuff in a bucket overnight and then cooking it, and I will report back to you as to what that's like. All right, there we go. Salted fish for Dungeons & Dragons. And until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.